questions is how does it work to save money using cheap thread in your sewing machine? When we work on a sewing machine, we put a sticker on it so we can date it. We can see from this sticker it was last worked on in January of 2014, so about four years ago. Also notice that it had a spool of thread on it that was very inexpensive. So this is about some of the advantages of using that cheap thread. Cheap thread has lots of fuzz, and that fuzz can get inside your sewing machine and insulate it, make it run warm. And it's not just down in the bobbin case, it's up in the tension assembly, around the needle bar, deep inside the hook gears, in your stepper motors. And because cheap thread isn't as strong, it can break off inside the sewing machine and get wrapped around the shaft. So you can see this is a good place to store several different colors of cheap thread. Now when you want to get it out, I can show you that procedure. Now we've already removed all the covers off the sewing machine, so first we're going to remove the tension assembly. Now we're going to remove the screw that adjusts the needle to hook position. Then remove the toric screw that holds the needle bar assembly. Now you can carefully remove the needle bar assembly by disconnecting those shafts, making sure you don't break the wires off. Now you can remove that thread. And you have a collection of different colors. And you have enough thread here to sew on several different buttons. Now if you're not interested in keeping your machine warm, you can remove all that lint and fuzz and lubricate. After you remove the fuzz, you can put the needle bar back in, replace the tension assembly, remove the old grease, install new lubricant, and reassemble the machine. Now it'll run cool. So this is how you save pennies with cheap thread when you spend dollars on repairs.